graduation season, we all know that. And we are helping keeping our grads, uh, or I should say, keep our grads eye on their money. The good thing is a lot of them are entering the workforce for the very first time. But the bad news is a lot of them have debt to take care of. So here's the deal. If you do owe student loans, CBS News business analysts say you should start by coming up with a workable payment plan. So write down what you owe, the loan's interest rate, and when that first payment is due. There is usually a grace period for grads, so keep that in mind. You can also find some new payment options options for students on the federal student aid website. Now, if you're starting a new job and your new job provides you with health insurance, look at your options because a higher deductible plan that might be more affordable for you, it might even be cheaper for you to stay on your parents' health plan. If they allow you to do that, you can stay on until you're 26. Now, cash might be tight for now, but if that new job does include a retirement savings account, you should think about making some contributions, at least up to the company match. Sometimes that's a certain percentage point. Yeah, well, there's a noticeable shift for many high school graduates this year. They are skipping college and instead they're embracing alternative routes. CBS News, Texas in your corner on your quarter in Carrollton. Your community reporter Nicole Nielsen explores this new trend to see if it's the way of the future. Fernando Sanchez just graduated two weeks ago from Mary Grimes High School in Carrollton, but he has no intention of heading off to college. Each day, he does what he's been doing for the past five years, cutting hair. I don't know, I feel like school is just hard, a hard thing for me. He's been building his career for years and says he realized a long time ago that college wasn't for him. Many of his friends say the same. I'm also doing um, construction doing concrete or welding. Like many high school seniors, Fernando is not alone. You may remember our recent reporting on Grand Prairie ISD, which has gone from 11 career and technical programs to more than 30 in about a decade. It's clear there's a surge of adults entering trades or immediately starting their careers instead of choosing school. And college enrollment? Experts fear 2024 could be worse than 2020. It's uh making the outlook a little bit bleak for fall enrollment. Data from the National College Attainment Network shows FAFSA applicants this year have dropped dramatically. As of the end of April, 35.6% of the class of 2024 nationwide had completed a FAFSA. That's down 24.3% from last year. FAFSA completion is a very strong indicator for a student about whether they're going to enroll in the fall or not. There's many reasons FAFSA applications are down this year, from a rocky rollout and months long delay in launching to kids just simply deciding that college isn't for them. Students looking at skilled trades is is definitely, um, I guess I'm gonna say making a comeback in terms of post high school options. Fernando was the latter. With no plans to apply, he says that dedication and passion for what you do can still lead to success. While experts say this coming fall enrollment will tell them a lot about the current mindset of high school seniors. In Carrollton, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.